Okay, eu coração samba. That's right, I do. I heart samba. I love samba. It's um, It comes from Brazil, and it's a very popular uh, style of dance, music genre, and even a way of life, basically, for a lot of folks down in Brazil. Uh, it comes from Rio, Rio de Janeiro, and I love to play it because it's very, very percussive. Um, and it's very percussion-oriented. And the challenge for us drummers when we're playing a samba on the drum set is we have to cover uh, what six or 10 or 20 percussionists are doing at the same time because the nature of samba is um, it's very layered as far as there's many different percussion instruments and they're just all kind of piled on top of each other to create the whole feel. The, um, the thing to keep in mind here is the surdo, which is kind of like our version of the floor tom, is very integral to the feel of the samba. And it kind of feels like this. So we need to have that incorporated into our samba. So the best way to do that, let me demonstrate a samba first of all, and then we'll break it all down. Okay. and. Um, the way I learned the samba is that it all kind of revolves around one rhythm. And it's based on two. We're going to count it in two. And it's one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and. So I'm going to play it on the hi-hat here. And those are going to be the accents. Here, It's going to be one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a we're going to add two on the bass. Okay, that's going to be kind of like our basic, okay? Um, the next step is we are going to add the samba feet, I like to call it. <laughs> um, this is going to be an ostinato that repeats, and it's going to be... One e and a two e and a 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 one e and a one Okay, and that's, I want you to get that in your back pocket kind of where you don't have to think about it. Um, it's going to be integral to this. So spend a lot of time on one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and just lock that in. And then we're going to add our basic over that. And we can try it on the snare drum now. Here's that basic again with the accents. have to hit the rim shots I'm just doing that to kind of like so you can hear you know the accents a little bit okay and you know the true test if you're doing this right is if you feel like dancing <laughs> or if the people around you that's hearing you practice feels like dancing that's a sign of a, of a good samba groove so let's try it again
wildly fast, but that's actually like a, that's a medium tempo for a samba. It's usually you know, it's like out of control. So that's a little bit tame for uh, how it normally is. So, okay, so now we want to add like the certo effect um, with the floor tom. So that's going to be we're just going to move um, beats two on the the, the, the floor tom. So you can have some fun with that, kind of get used to how that feels, moving that over. Um, and then another little concept we can do is to keep those accents, but we're going to break the hands up in between the hi-hat and the snare drum. So but I'm um, going to fill in all of the, um, the, weak, the weak beats on the snare, and I'm going to keep those accents on the hi-hat. So it'll sound like this. notes you know ghost notes on the snare the little itty bitty taps just to fill it up a little bit all right that's the next thing now <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's more. Um, we're going to move the right hand to the bell. We're going to play the shoulder of the stick on the bell. And we're going to keep those accents going, keeping the ghost notes on the snare. I'm going to slow it down, and then I'm going to show you my own little invention. <laughs> um, and, you know, this is not as practical in like a very fast tempo, but I just think it sounds cool. Um, I'm going to put Beats 2 back on the surdo, back on the, uh, the floor tom, and this is how I'm, how I'm going to do it, okay? So um, that's that. You can mess around with that, see how that goes. I have a couple more variations for you um, that involves a brush. And um, I'll play through these. These will also be provided um, with the sheet music so you can see what I'm doing. But this is kind of cool because this, for me, it, it sounds like um, the tambourine that they're playing and then um, getting different tones and muting it. So I'll show you what I mean. But OK, here it goes. Keep the samba feet going, and then we're going to do this. It's kind of cool because you're playing um, the snare, and then you're playing on top of the brush. Um, and if, if Steve Przicki is watching this, thank you, Steve. Steve was my first drum teacher. And um, I quarter song Steve, too. <laughs> I heart Steve. Um, best drum teacher in the world. So thank you if you're watching. But um, And then the next variation um, that you taught me, um, <laughs> the next variation is going to be... Blaze some speed with this one. All right, uh, that's it for today. I think um, I think that's that's all we're gonna do with the samba today. Um, but I have to have a nice little outro, so I'm gonna say so. Have fun with your samba grooves and. Um, Keep the pocket deep. <laughs> Pode chegar que a festa vai é começar agora. E é pra chegar quem quiser, deixa a tristeza pra.